Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see, I've got a bunch of products in front of me, and these are all from Merch Car Care. Hopefully it is pronounced Merch, um, but that's what I'm gonna be calling it. So yeah, I reached out to these guys. These are actually an Australian company. They um, make everything in their Melbourne location. So everything is formulated and bottled here in Australia, which is always good to see. Um, so I reached out to them after getting some targeted ads on sort of Facebook and Instagram uh, because I'm always obviously looking at car detailing stuff and I kept getting an ad for one particular product. I believe it's because I've been searching non-acid wheel cleaners but yeah I kept getting this Merch Grime Off um, and seeing a video for it and it looked really good so I ended up reaching out to the company asking if they'd like to send me a few products to try out on the channel um, and surprisingly the owner Daniel actually also owns a black Evo 10, the same as me. So we got talking a bit and yeah, he wanted to uh, send out some stuff. So he, I actually just expected to get this one and potentially this one, their new spray sealant. Um, but as you can see, he's actually sent me out a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go through some of this, but there is actually a lot more. They make a lot of great looking products. Obviously I can't say how good they are because I haven't tried them all out yet. Um, I am going to try out a lot of these ones in either this video and in future videos. So the car behind me that I'm gonna be testing this grime off on, um, you may see me use a few different products that you see in front of me on the same car, which is, I should show you, going to be this uh, Commodore Ute. So yeah, we're about to give this a bit of a clean. I thought rather than just trying to make a really long video, I'll just make a few separate ones, trying some different products. So yeah, starting off with the Merch Grime Off, but since this is gonna be the first video I'm going to show, of this um, this brand. I thought I'd just go through the products that I have been sent, but I will put on the side of the screen um, now, just scrolling through their shop on their website, just the amount of products they have. They have everything from um, water spot removers to polishes to multiple different types of car shampoos, um, basically microfibers, mitts. They did actually send me their giant wash um, pad, I guess you'd call it. It's not a mitt, it's a big wash pad. So I can you try this one out. It looks very similar to the um, the wax it one or the concourse one that I've used a bit. So yeah, definitely feels good quality, nice and soft. Um, but yeah, they make absolutely everything, or I'm sure they don't make the microfibers, but all their chemicals, um, they have a full range. So if you just wanted to only use their brand, not that I recommend using one brand only, but if you wanted to, you could get absolutely everything you needed from this one company and support an Australian business, which is always good, so employing Australian people and chemists. So yeah, let's um, let's go over what we've got. So firstly, what I'm gonna be using in this video is going to be the Merch Grime Off. And you probably see that I've already used quite a bit of it because I did actually already film this video and I filmed the intro and all of the rest of it, I had no audio. My microphone managed to turn itself off. So yeah, I ended up doing actually six wheels and used this amount um, and it was really good, but we won't talk about that. We'll, we'll actually show you it in action. So yeah, this one is their, as you can see, heavy duty acid free wheel cleaner. So this is their 500 mil size bottle and quickly we'll mention that it comes with a, I'm sure you can see that, a Canyon um, spray trigger, um, which is a huge bonus because these are really good. I used to use these a lot and yeah, I have actually a few bottles with these. Um, so which is important when you've got a, a strong chemical like this. Um, it does come with that as well for one of the other products they sent me, which I believe will be their other wheel cleaner, Dragon Blood. And then you can just get your generic, sorry, they sent me two other ones of those. You get your generic normal triggers just for say the window cleaners and stuff like that. So anyway, this one, like I said, their 500 ml bottle, it is $16, so really well priced. Um, you can also get it in a few other sizes. You can get it in a one liter bottle for $23 and it does also come in a five liter container for $70. Now, after talking to Daniel, they do actually also offer a 20 liter. I think it is around $200, but it's not on their website. You do have to reach out to them to basically get shipping quotes because it can be expensive depending on where you're in Australia to ship 20 liter container. But yeah, this one, 500 mils, $16, really good value, and I've used it already, I really liked it, so I will show it in action on this Commodore. Um. Okay, so let's try this product out. So, give it a quick shake. 
and doesn't say anything about rinsing off first so yeah we'll go ahead we'll spray it on we'll let it dwell um, does say the instructions between one to three minutes but do not to, do not let it dry so yeah let's give this a try guard lining a little bit too. So yeah, what I want to do is I want to get between the spokes and up into the barrels <coughs> and just see how good this will clean completely touchless. So I mean, I'm sure you can see back there some of the grime that is already dripping off. Okay, so that should about do it. I'm gonna let that dwell for a minute or so. So we're gonna, actually we'll spray it on the tire as well. And while it's dwelling, I'll give the tire a scrub. Now I know they do make a dedicated tire cleaner, but as you can see, instantly getting some browning from this, just using the wheel cleaner. So yeah, while that's dwelling, I'm actually going to give that a scrub with our tire brush. So yeah, look at that, just instantly getting the browning. So I would be interested to try their, try their dedicated tire cleaner out if this is just the wheel cleaner. Yeah, that is definitely going to bring a lot of browning out of the tire. Right, guys, I actually, in, actually ended up spraying a little bit more on this because I wanted to get a uh, photo for the thumbnail um, and didn't want it to dry while I was doing so. But yeah, so still no agitation. Um, and yeah, still, like, I mean, look at the... What's dripping off the tire there. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give it a rinse. Okay, so you can actually see where I scrubbed with the browning tire. It's kind of, um, needs to be probably agitated off. So we've got some tar contaminants there that it hasn't removed, but basically the wheel is clean. It is completely clean. So this wheel hasn't been cleaned, I don't think ever. So it probably is one that would need a little bit of agitation, but if you're happy with this level of cleaning, which is basically tiniest little bit of contamination left, then it will be fine. All right, guys. So quickly before we go over and do the wheel on the other car, so I show you the before and after. So after walking away, it does a huge difference. So being these wheels are silver, um, and it is starting to spit rain, so you can probably see a few raindrops on them. But yeah, they look not that bad when they're dirty, to be honest. But that's the cleaned one, and here's the rear one, which wasn't actually as dirty anyway. But yeah, they're looking a little bit more dull when they're dirty. Um, this is just a bit more shiny. But yeah, the silver wheels when they're dirty aren't as noticeable as something like this, which is like a black and a white wheel. So yeah, we'll try out this. You can see this wheel, very dirty. So we'll try this one out as well.
Just want to get <clears throat> into the barrels. Pretty intricate wheel design, as you can see. So, yeah. Oh, missed one spot. So let's let that dwell for a minute or so. Not going to go for the tyre this time, but you can even see where I did hit the tyre. The browning coming off that. Okay, so I guess I am going for the tyre. So yeah, it's a very effective tyre cleaner as well. That just sort of shows you how strong this stuff is. It is actually dilutable, um, but yeah, I'm just using it straight up for the video. So yeah, gonna let that dwell for a minute or so, and we'll do a rinse. All right, guys, been about a minute, and just look at this tire. I actually just cleaned these, well, not just cleaned these, but this is the wheel that I used the Meguiar's when I said wheel and tire cleaner on. So I didn't expect the amount of browning to come off this because it's only been about not even a month since I scrubbed these. So pretty interesting, but yeah, you can see how this car gets daily driven on the motorway in the rain. So the wheels being white, they get filthy. But before this dries, which it looks like it's at risk of doing, let's give this rinsed. Yeah, sorry about that, got a kink in the hose, had to fix, so now it should work. Okay, so you can see that's a far better indication of just what this stuff can do. Um, so these wheels being white, it really does show the difference. Now obviously how dirty they were, a little bit of agitation would be required to get them completely clean, but if you look at this here, you can see it's just softened everything. So even if you were to go through and wipe these clean with the microfiber, they would, I wipe these dry, it would pick up the last of everything that's been loosened. Um, but yeah, you can see they cleaned the wheel, and the tyre incredibly and these now look bright white and clean so yeah very very impressed with this wheel cleaner um, I'm gonna have to do a battle between this and the Meguiar's to see which one I like better they're both pretty similarly priced both can be diluted um, but yeah very cheap compared to your usual acid wheel cleaners and sorry I think I've got a bit of water onto the lens um, yeah, so that's that's one wheel cleaned. It's the other wheel cleaned. So really, really effective cleaner. So yeah, let's wrap this video up and get the final thoughts. All right, guys. So I've just finished cleaning a few of the wheels, like you saw. So it's going to give you my final thoughts on the product. Um, I really rate it. Was a little bit tricky using it on the Commodore wheels, just being silver on camera. They don't look as bad. Uh, in person, I could see a huge difference, but I was checking the footage, it doesn't really show. That's why I decided to do the white wheel, the white and black wheel on the Barina as well, just to show you how effective it is if you just use it, um, spray it on and rinse it off. Um, and I actually did grab out the Meguiar's non-acid wheel cleaner and tried against one of the Commodore wheels as well, and this stuff cleaned better. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be a future video, I think. We're gonna put that head-to-head -head those two up against uh, PNS Brake Buster and a fourth wheel cleaner to be determined. But so far, after just a quick check off camera, I didn't want to film it because I know that's an upcoming video. This stuff definitely did better than the Meguiar's, which I really liked, which means it definitely does better than the PNS. But that is all based off just speculation so far. Um, but yeah, I'm going to definitely recommend this stuff. Um, if you just want to pick up the 500ml bottle and give it a try, $16, you can't really go wrong. Obviously you have to pay for some shipping, um, but yeah, for $16, it's worth a try. They do actually have a money back guarantee. If it's not the best non-acid wheel cleaner you've used, they will send you your money back. Um, I'm sure the terms then, I'm sure you have to send the product back. Um, but yeah, so that's how confident they are 
in its ability and I really do recommend it. Um, this is probably going to be my new wheel cleaner. Um, I, yeah, I really liked it and I like that it foams up as you brush. I like that it, on a clean wheel, so such as these wheels on the black, uh, the black wheels on the red Evo you can see here, these, uh, they look dirty, but they are just dusty. That would be an easy spray on rinse off. And generally, that's about how dirty as the wheels get. So you can see the wheels on the black Evo, the blue ones, they've just been cleaned and I didn't need any iron removers. They were easy to clean, so I think for something like these two cars here, which is what I'm washing the most, this is the perfect product. But if you've got something even dirtier and you just need a bit of agitation, it's still gonna be perfect product. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I have a link in the description to this product. So I definitely recommend you check it out. And yeah, massive thanks to the guys for sending this product to try out. Um, yeah, they just said, like it, don't. Let us know what you think and make a video. Happy for you to, you know, test it out and obviously they were they were confident knowing that I'd like it because I did so yeah um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already subscribed definitely click the subscribe button big giveaway coming when we get to 1000 subscribers so look forward to that but yeah with all that said until next time I'll catch you guys later